Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making butcher block countertops. You can use any kind of wood that you want, but I'm going to be using pine because it's cheap, and this is going to be for my shop. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Alright, so the first thing I did was lay out all these boards and make sure they're all the same length, and then I just got some tight bond glue. Um, you're going to want to use Type Bond 3 for this project because it is waterproof. And I just spread it out with a roller, um, laid all the boards out, and just spread it out with a roller. That way I get really good coverage with the glue. As always, you're going to want to make sure to use a lot of glue. Make sure that you get every part of the board covered, and then you're going to just stack them up next to each other. I did mine in two different parts because I'm going to be running these through a planer and my planer is only 13 inches wide so I first clamped my first piece together. Just make sure you use a lot of clamps then just make sure you tighten up your clamps nice and tight and get some glue squeeze out on the top and the bottom of the boards. Then just keep on adding clamps, but I'm going to skip forward here. You don't need to watch me place all those clamps. All right, so here's the end product after the glue up. As you can see, it's a little uneven in spots, but like I said, I'm going to be putting this through a planer. But if yours turns out like this, that's okay, especially if you have a planer. It'll take care of that very easily. So here I am running this through the planer over and over until I get a nice flat side and I'm just turning this over doing the back side and then the top side and then over and over. Um, the bottom is not going to be near as flat as the top but I just wanted to make sure it was flat enough that when I mount it to a countertop or to a cabinet that it actually sits nice and flat but the top side I'm going to be running it through the planer until it is almost completely flat no glue squeeze out or anything like that and if you're curious about this planer I'm going to be doing a video on that as well soon and here's the result of the first piece after the planer it looks pretty good so I went ahead and started the second piece and did the same process just putting it through the planer making sure that the glue is completely taken off and any bumps or unevenness on both sides of that board. Um, just when you do this, make sure you only plane it down to the same thickness that you did the other piece because you're going to be gluing these two pieces together to get the correct width for the countertop. And like I said before, I'm going to be doing a review on this planer. So if you're curious, please subscribe and look for that in future videos. And like I said, we're going to glue these two pieces together. So just like you did before, just make sure you get a lot of glue on the edge there. Spread it nice and evenly. And then you're just going to put it next to the other board and get some larger clamps and glue it together. Clamp it nice and tight. And then make sure the ends are nice and even. And then make sure that there's not a lip there. Um, there was a tiny little lip here, but I'm just going to take care of that with some sanding. And then go ahead and finish it off with some sanding. I started with 80 grit on the seam and then moved to 120 and sanded the whole entire piece. And then I moved to 150 and then 220. Um, and then afterwards, you're just going to finish this off with either mineral oil or some sort of polyurethane. I'm, I'm going to use wipe on polyurethane just because I'm not going to be using this in any other way other than in the garage. So here's that wipe on polyurethane. With this stuff you're going to want to do a couple coats. Um, I'd say like five coats with this. But it is really easy to work with. You just seriously wipe it on and then let it dry. But as you can see it does bring it out that the shine in this wood this pine looks pretty good with just this polyurethane on it and it does look a lot like butcher block and much much cheaper than butcher block 
Now you could stain this if you're going to be using polyurethane, but if you want a different color of wood, if you're going to be using mineral spirits, you're going to make sure to pick the color of wood that you want the finished product to be. So if you want walnut butcher block, make sure you buy walnut wood. Um, you're not going to want to stain it if you're going to use mineral oil. Um, but yeah, here's the finished product. Looks pretty dang good. I think it looks a lot like butcher block. Honestly, guys, I think this looks exactly like butcher block that you would buy in a store. And it was super easy to make. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please comment below. And as always, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.